Good morning and welcome to our, our Power Up time. Thank you so much for uh, being with me. I hope you had a great day yesterday uh, and looking forward to all that God uh, has for us today. Uh, and I want to encourage you, let's uh, serve Him as we have opportunity today, be the testimony uh, and witness uh, that we should be. Uh, it, well, if you would, we're going to be in Psalm 19. If you want to turn in there in your Bibles, if you follow along, Psalm 19, we looked at just uh, just verse number one yesterday. Uh, so we'll kind of, we'll pick up where we left off. We'll we'll begin reading verse uh, verse number one. Uh, but Psalm 19 tells us this. It says, verse number one: The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament showeth His handiwork, uh, and speaks to the Lord's creation, uh, how it gives testimony to the fact that there is a Creator. Verse number two says, Day unto day uttereth speech, uh, and night unto night uh, showeth uh, knowledge. There's no speech or language uh, where their voice is not heard. And so we see the importance. We see uh, the Lord creating day, uh, in literal 24-hour days, day and night. Uh, and the, the challenge uh, each day uh, is to, to serve the Lord with all that we have each and every day recognizing uh, that every day is a gift from God. Uh, we, write, we read uh, later on in Psalms that this is the day that the Lord hath made. I will rejoice and be glad and be thankful that you have today to live for the Lord. You know, we spend, we spend so much time uh, looking forward to specific days, uh, specific time periods that sometimes we miss out on the blessings of today. I remember as, as a young person uh, growing up, you're looking forward to uh, to turning 13, uh, looking forward to 16, you could drive a car, uh, looking forward to 18, you're graduating high school, you're becoming an adult and, and so on. And uh, and then, you, you know, you're looking forward to, to getting married, looking forward to having kids, looking forward to buying the first house, whatever, what, whatever order uh, that might come in. Marriage comes before, comes before uh, uh, children, that's for sure. But uh, there are other events in our life that we look forward to. You know, I look forward to, to Christmas every year. But here's the thing. God has given each one of us today. Uh, and we need to rejoice and we need to be glad in it, as Psalms tells us. And we need to use the day uh, to serve our Lord, to honor our Lord, to bring glory to our Lord. And, and each and every day must be like that. Now, I'll be the first to tell you, some days uh, might be more enjoyable than others. Regardless of that, though, the day is a gift from God. And verse number two tells us, Day unto day utter speech, and night unto night showeth knowledge. Uh, then verse number three, there's no speech uh, nor language where their voice is not heard. Uh, and I'm so thankful uh, that the Lord hears, uh, hears our words, hears our prayers. Uh, and, uh, uh, and, and it says there's no speech or language where their voice is not heard. And so uh, thankful for uh, a God that hears uh, that there's no there's no language uh, that is not understandable, uh, and uh, we see that that God, God is the orchestrator of all of that. It says in verse four, their line has gone out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. In them hath He set a tabernacle for the sun. Uh, verse number verse number five says, which is as a bridegroom cometh out of his chamber. And rejoiceth as a strong man to run a race. His going forth is from the end of heaven, and a circuit unto the ends of it, and there is nothing hid from the heat thereof. Uh, and so we see here uh, that uh, as we consider the the glory of God, the heavens declaring the glory of God, the firmament showing its handiwork, and we we view them differently uh, during the day. Obviously, we see the sun, we we feel the the heat from the sun, and uh, and at nighttime, we see the the beauty of the stars, and and even the uh, the beauty and uh, the changing of the moon, if you will. Uh, we see up in the sky, we see eclipses, all all that good stuff. Uh, and we notice that uh, that the Lord has positioned each one of these uh, bodies in in the in perfect alignment, in the perfect place, uh, so as to benefit Earth and to and to really bring some sort of order. Uh, to earth as well. 
as we see the the seasons changing uh, and, and and all of all of that that comes along with it, uh, and we see that uh, uh, just the the perfectness of God's creation, the perfectness of it, uh, and we know. Uh, and as as we look around us, yeah, things uh, things are, are breaking down. We could say they're slowly unraveling. So there will be, there will be, an end to this uh, creation of the Lord. And we know that from reading Scripture, there is a new beginning as well. It creates a new heaven uh, and a new earth. Uh, and sin has so ravaged uh, this earth. Uh, that it is breaking down. We see death and destruction everywhere. We see the results of sin everywhere. Uh, and uh, but but realize this: uh, that our God is in control. Uh, and we know from reading Scripture that uh, we hear uh, that our world's going to end in uh, just over a decade. They're saying and, and all of that. But we know from reading Scripture that that's not true. We've got the tribulation time period. Uh, that the world will go through after the church is raptured out. We have the uh, the thousand-year reign of Christ upon the earth, and Satan himself is even uh, cast into a bottomless pit for a thousand years. And so we see there there is all kinds of time left uh, on this earth. Uh, but we need to uh, we need to much like the heavens and the earth declare the glory and the and the the heavens and the firmament declare the glory of God as handiwork. We as Christians, we need to declare the Lord and His handiwork as well. Uh, we could we could say it this way: We are the Bible tells us that we are His workmanship, created in Christ Jesus. We are therefore to declare the handiwork of God in our lives. Uh, and so, I want to encourage you today: Let's be the testimony that we should of God's goodness. Hey, let's rejoice in the day that we've been given. God has created us and given us each and every day. Uh, and so let's let's enjoy it and live for the Lord during it and promote Jesus uh, during uh, each day that we have and each moment that we have. Uh, Christians, as a Christian, we should not be miserable people. We should not look miserable, but rather we need to be rejoicing and pointing people uh, to Jesus Christ. And so uh, I want to encourage you, let's live for the Lord today, excited about what we'll be looking at tomorrow. As we begin in verse number 7, and looking at uh, uh, where it tells us that the law is perfect, converting the soul. So thankful for the way of salvation uh, that has been given to mankind. I want to encourage you to have a blessed day today, uh, and let's live for the Lord today. Let's spread the good news of the gospel to somebody, uh, and let's be an encouragement to others as we have opportunity. Uh, Be sure to like and share the video if you can, Uh, and then also... Hey, pick up the phone. Let's call some people. Let's let's uh, be an encouragement to them. Uh, maybe a family member, a friend. Be an encouragement to somebody uh, in the church as well. Uh, and uh, I, I so want to uh, want to please the Lord with each and every day. Uh, when we make decisions, the Lord, I want to serve you with my life, and that's great. But it starts with a day-to-day decision to serve the Lord. So I want to encourage you along those lines. Lord bless you. Have a great day. If you're in northern Michigan watching, we've got a beautiful day coming. Going to be high in the high 80s today uh, and sunny. So enjoy the day uh, and let's serve the Lord uh, in some capacity today. Lord bless you. Have a great day today and look forward to our time together tomorrow.